The Federal Reserve of the United States recently made news when it said something about using XRP. Senior Vice President David Andolfato from the Federal Reserve Branch in St. Louis has talked about how Ripplenet could be used to handle payments. It has been stressed that Ripplenet relies on XRP to make these transactions possible. In the words of David Antifalti, the Federal Reserve could give payment duties to a third party, like Ripple. This event could lead to a big rise in the value of XRP, possibly even hitting the $10,000 mark if it happens. It's also important to remember that the Federal Reserve's move doesn't come as a surprise. A few weeks or maybe a month ago, the Federal Reserve made a formal statement recognizing that XRP and XLM could help improve the blockchain part of their FedNow payment service. Ripple is getting a lot of attention because it is known for its open source technology for financial transactions and its creative ways to make cross-border payments. Adding Ripple's technology to the FedNow payment service is expected to be a major reason why XRP's value soars to unimaginable heights. Welcome. Welcome to Coins Alert family, your reliable source for all things XRP. Before we start, please hit the like button, subscribe and notifications to become a part of our group. Also, once we reach 60,000 followers, we'll be giving away a huge amount of XRP. There are only three easy steps you need to take to put in your bid. Make sure you do all of those things. Leave a comment with the hashtag coins alert to make sure you get a spot. Let's get right to today's subject. We're focusing on Ripple's partnership with the Federal Reserve, which was made official on the federalreserve.gov website. The US Path to Faster Payments was the name of the study. In its first part called the Faster Payment Task Force Approach, it says that Ripple is an important part of finding payment solutions with the Federal Reserve. The report talks about Ripple's unique ability to make real-time foreign payments possible. Usually these kinds of transfers take two to four days and are hard to track and understand fees for. Ripple changes this by letting you see the full state of payments and fees as well as settling them instantly. Then we find out that Ripple and the Federal Reserve have expanded their partnership to include funds within the United States. This is backed up by a lot of material that viewers can pause and read. A very important part of the study talks about how central banks like the Bank of England, the Federal Reserve, and the Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority work together with Ripple to improve the domestic payment system. The study also talks about Ripple Labs innovations at the most basic level of payment processing, with a focus on providing a free, real-time settlement infrastructure around the world. The Federal Reserve plans to adopt and use Ripple's decentralized peer-to-peer -peer settlement framework, which means that it will replace current methods for sending money. Looking back, there were early signs of this change. About a year ago, the Ripple logo was shown in a big way during a Fox News story about the Federal Reserve looking into making a digital US dollar. Also the Federal Reserve Board, the Bank of International Settlements, BIs, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, and the Bank of International Settlements, BIs, have added Ripple to their list of operating in the Shadows Partners, which shows that they are interested in Ripple's technology. The Bank of International Settlements, BIS, is in charge of a lot of the world's money. This becomes clear as you learn more about the fascinating world of global banking. The fact that Ripple has entered this field is an important move. It comes from the Department of the Interior and quotes Jess Chan, who is a senior council member at the Fredericksher Board of Governors. Jess, who used to be a deputy general counsel at Ripple, is said to be leading this effort. For people who like to know the little things, there's a lot to unpack here. And it all fits together pretty well. Yes, but that's only the beginning. What I'm about to say could shock a lot of you. The Federal Reserve recently warned that banks could lose money because of rising interest rates and pressures in the real estate market. It's interesting that they've been talking about this with a number of partners since early March. XRP also looks like it will be used by BRICS and the EU. The European Union has even said that XRP will be the basis for the new digital euro, with the XRP ledger being used to handle wealth exchanges. Several stories back up this claim, indicating that XRP's value is about to go through the roof. A well-known expert says it will go up to $500.50 in the short term and could hit $10,000 as it spreads around the world. Arthur Brito, one of the founders of Ripple, is said to have had this idea. As we watch the movie, it's clear that the story of XRP is changing quickly. The CCVS Ripple case is over, and now the BRICS countries have decided to work with Ripple to build their central bank's digital currencies on the XRP system. According to recent news, the central bank digital currency, which is supported by BRICS, will be a major tool for global finance. And there are signs of Ripple's large network in every BRICS country, which we will look into in more depth. Let's begin our trip in Brazil, where a very important event has happened. Brazil has started a revolutionary crypto on-demand liquidity service with the help of Ripple. The country's financial technology environment has taken a big step forward with this project. The next country we'll talk about is Russia. A lot of evidence shows that President Putin has changed his strategy to move away from the petrodollar and the USD. 
Since SWIFT decided not to let Russia use its payment system, there has been a clear shift toward Ripple Labs. On the XRP system, the goal is to make a Russian CBDC, or central bank digital currency. This move not only goes against the SWIFT ban, but it also takes advantage of the fact that the XRP ledger is split to protect Russia's India's massive digital rupee initiative is powered by Ripple, which is at the head of another big project. Ripple Labs technology is at the heart of this project, which is a big step forward for India's efforts to create a global CBDC. That's not the end of the story though. China has also joined the fight. They are working with Ripple to get into the world of digital currencies issued by state banks. This relationship shows that Ripple is becoming more important in the world of finance. The story is the same in Africa. The 2022 African blockchain report shows how CBDCs are becoming more important on the XRP system all over the continent. One of the things the report says is that South Africa and more than a dozen other African countries use Ripple and XRP to make payments. This wide use of the ledger shows how important it is becoming in Africa's banking system. Finally, XRP was named as one of the best digital assets for payment services in a recent study by the BRICS Group. With this support from BRICS, XRP is even more solidified as a major player in the world of digital currencies. There have been a lot of price predictions for XRP lately because of recent events. Some of these predictions caught our attention. When top financial experts say that XRP will be worth $500.50, it makes sense to do a lot of study. Our research took us to an interesting source chat GPT, a well-known AI bot. This AI pointed out that the value of four cryptocurrencies XRP Ripple, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano is set to skyrocket by a huge 100,000% by 2024. This price for XRP shouldn't be a surprise, especially when you think about what Arthur Brito, one of Ripple's co-founders, thinks. He wants XRP to hit $10,000, which he thinks is the value it was meant to reach. Brito also talks about how XRP can be scaled up to meet the expected $7.5 billion dollar financial needs of the world's population. So what does $500 mean in this case? In the big picture, $500 is just a small step toward how much XRP could really be worth. However, getting XRP to the huge price of $10,000, which is its goal, will require world scalability and a lot of money moving through the XRP ledger. 21 countries have publicly agreed to stop using the US dollar, which supports this trend even more. Virtual institutions are working together with AI more and more to create CBDCs on the XRP ledger. This change shows that more and more central banks are working with Ripple and more importantly, incorporating the XRP ledger into their daily processes. The fact that Dubai's central bank fully approved the use of XRP just three days ago shows that this trend is growing. This move by Dubai is another sign that XRP is becoming more widely accepted and used around the world. Do not forget that I am not a professional financial advisor. The information in these movies is only meant to be entertaining. Before making any financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own study and talk to professionals. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to hit the follow button and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, make sure the alerts are on so you know right away when I post something new. In the next movie, I can't wait to catch up with you. Be careful. Whoa.